is caught on camera. A man tries to save two young boys from the dogs when they go after him instead. Wait News reporter Gail Levy joins us live where it happened in Fort Myers Shores. How's the man doing tonight? Lois, he's still in a lot of pain. He's recovering just a few doors down from where those dogs got out. Now, I talked to the dog's owner, and they said their escape was a mistake. Their son accidentally left that gate open, and the dogs got out. And now their neighbor is dealing with nearly 20 open wounds. Look closely. Those are two Australian blue healers bolting toward two young boys. Seconds later, neighbor Bienvenido Roman pulls up in his white truck. He feared the dogs were going after those kids. So I opened up the side of my truck and opened up the door and yelled at the dogs and the dogs. They didn't even skip a beat. They just turned right towards me and came charging at me and started biting. For a good 30 to 40 seconds, Roman tried to get a hold of those dogs. You know, they drugged me, one of them bit me on my shoulder. And at that point, I knew he was trying to go for my face. So I just pulled my head back and... You know, after he flipped me and did whatever else he did on me because they were chomping on me, I just, it's time to stand up. I stood up with him and tried to lift him off the ground and get him off me. Eventually, the dog's owner came out, got control of them, and first responders took care of Roman. They were unprovoked. You know, the two boys were in the front yard of their own driveway, almost at the front of the house, and these dogs came out and they were looking to kill. But Don Hill told me her dogs have never been violent with kids. Animal control now has them, and she fears officers will soon put her dogs down. I just want to be there. I want my voice, my hands, to be what they hear in their last moments. They were looking to kill something or someone, and the dogs need to be put down. I mean, unfortunately, sorry to say it, but that's just the way I feel about these dogs at this point. And I talked to Animal Control to ask them if indeed they do plan on putting these dogs down, and no one's gotten back to me yet. Hill said in the slim chance that she does get her dogs back, she's already hired a trainer and she's looking into options for a second gate to keep everyone in the neighborhood safe. Live in Fort Myers Shores, Gail Levy, Wink News Now. What an awful situation, Gail. Thank you.